Hi, my name's Anthony. I'm the Operations and Maintenance Manager here for Hazer Group at our commercial demonstration plant. So basically the mission of this plant is that we take biogas as our feedstock and we conduct our Hazer process, which is a unique technology, and we actually convert that into hydrogen and a graphitic carbon, which is a unique byproduct. It's actually like a solid carbon product. So over the hill is the anaerobic digestion from the water treatment plant that produces biogas, which is the methane feed source for the commercial demonstration plant. That biogas is routed through a small pipeline, which then comes underneath my feet and comes out of the ground just over there. It has a number of impurities that must be removed so that we have a useful feed source for the Hazer commercial demonstration plant. So the first step in the biogas pretreatment is that we knock out the water in the green vessel. The gas then flows through to the next two big uh, white vessels you see here. These are the H2S, the hydrogen sulfide removal scrubbers. Uh, that strips out any of that hydrogen sulfide as a contaminant, which is, is poisonous to the Hazer process. The next two smaller vessels that we see here are the siloxane removal scrubbers. These ones strip out the siloxanes, which is that abrasive silica compound. From here, we then move around uh, to pressurizing the gas so that we have uh, a gas that is actually able to have the CO2 removed from it and then actually is a useful uh, pressure for our feedstock process. So another byproduct of being from anaerobic digestion is that the gas is actually produced at a very low pressure. In order to get that pressure up in the Hazer process in the pretreatment section, we have to boost it with this feed gas blower here. And that then provides enough suction pressure for the feed gas compression unit, which is the blue box you see down at the very end. That feed gas compression unit then provides enough pressure for our CO2 removal membranes that you see here. These CO2 removal membranes uh, basically take the methane and the carbon dioxide and strip out the CO2, which is then sent off uh, to flare as it's not a useful product for us and it's not capturable at our small commercial um, demonstration scale. So from the CO2 removal membrane, we now have a pure methane feed source. The feed gas pipe uh, then carries our feed gas that flows all along to the rest of the Hazer plant. The methane feed source, that's now pure methane, flows along the pipeline into the first stage heat exchanger. This then provides the preheat before the feed gas flows into the reactor. The reactor is located inside the closed green furnace that you see here. The closed green furnace is like a hot dog in a bun inside two clamshells that open and they have heating elements on the inside that then provide uh, external heat to the reactor. Uh, the reactor has got a fluidized bed inside, which is the graphitic carbon. Uh, so the pure methane feed source is fed in. The Hazer catalyst is injected from the top at the temperature and pressure inside the reactor. That methane cracks apart into hydrogen and carbon. That then feeds out of the top of the reactor back through the first stage heat exchanger into the second stage heat exchanger where it is cooled uh, and then is fed to the graphite handling and graphite separation part of the process. So we're now at the top of the reactor. The outlet gas here has the hydrogen and graphitic carbon stream. That then feeds through to the solid and gas separation unit to my left here. This is where the hydrogen and graphitic carbon is separated out into their respective streams. So we're now on the second highest level of the Hazer commercial demonstration plant. This is the cyclone separator. So the produced hydrogen and graphite from the reactor that's now being cooled down is separated here as the first stage. The hydrogen gas flows out at the top and the separated graphite it drops down uh, to the bottom to the collection vessel below and is then fed to the storage hopper. This is the catalyst transport vessel. So the catalyst is loaded on the level above us. It then flows down into this transport vessel and then is injected into the top of the reactor below us. So the catalyst is hoisted up from this gantry crane here and is then tipped into this hopper here. This is where the catalyst then flows down into the transport vessel on the lower levels and is then injected into the reactor. So from this part of the process, 
we actually have the flexibility to operate in either a single pass or recycle mode of the plant. Operating in this recycle mode essentially ups the conversion rate of the feed gas in this plant and therefore we have the flexibility of demonstrating a number of different operating modes based on the needs and the data that we want to get out of the plant which can then be used to inform client decisions on what sort of implementation of the Hazer technology they'd like to adopt. All of the produced graphitic carbon from the Hazer process is collected in this big storage hopper here. This is our graphite bagging station. So whenever that fills up, we bag out a certain amount into our cubic meter bags here, and then that's stored in the shed behind me. Thank you very much for coming with me on this tour of the Hazer commercial demonstration plant.